I'm gonna show you how to install your Bulldog 9,500 pound winch. Did this myself on my 2015 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport. This 9,500 pound Bulldog winch is installed on the Rugged Ridge XHD series high clearance steel bumper. This bad boy has uh, these wings right here that blend really nicely in with those plastic fenders. You really can't even tell from a slight distance that this is plastic and that this is steel. So it really, it looks really nice on the Jeep. Um, this is gonna protect you from uh, anybody backing into you or obviously if you hit anything accidentally um, while you're off-roading. But that's what I have it installed in. Uh, the winch will sit really nicely inside this bumper and uh, I may make a video uh, showing you how I installed this bumper as well. The dealer wanted uh, $125 an hour at five hours for the bumper and two to five hours for the winch. So that adds up to almost $1,000 um, to install these pieces of equipment. And I did them all right here in my garage. So hopefully this video will be informative and help you save that money for yourself as well and uh, at a high quality so that you can go off-roading uh, with these awesome instruments. Taking the winch out of the box, you're gonna have all one piece here and then you're going to have the electronic control box with all the wiring in the back. Um, now first thing you're gonna do is decide where you want to mount your control box. In the instructions, it's gonna give you an option to mount it to the side. I have chosen to mount it to the top just because I think it looks nicer. And it also, I knew it was gonna be easy to access this little rubber port here where you'll plug in your remote. To mount your electronic control box, you'll find these two metal black tabs and screws. There's one here with a screw and there's one right here. And then there's your screw. Okay. The electronic control box um, is attached to these black metal pieces, one there, one there, and then two on the other side. Those slip into these tracks, one on the front and a track on the back. It will fit loosely and allow you to move it side to side to position it where you want it mounted on the top. Once you position it where you want it, then you're going to take these black tabs and you're going to slip them in between that L-shaped metal piece on the electronic control box and they'll sit there and hang very loosely. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take then, then you're going to take the screw and uh, screw it in from the back side there and fish it through the, the black tab there. Once you start getting it snug, that screw is going to tighten it from the bottom, which pushes the top of that black piece towards your electronic control box and uh, like tightens it up really snug. You've got to do that twice, both there and, and right there. Once you do that, now we're ready to move on to the electronic wiring. And that's the hardest part. Literally, once you install your electronic control box to the top of your winch, the most tedious part is over. From here, it's literally just connect this to that and a little bit of elbow grease. All right, the electronic wiring of the winch. Okay, these massive black wires here are color coded. They make it very simple. Yellow wire, you mount it to the yellow post. Red wire to the red post. Blue wire to the blue post and black wire to the black post. All right, one thing to note when you're screwing or snugging these up, don't tighten them, don't over tighten these nuts at the end of my finger here. Don't over tighten those nuts. It actually says that if you over tighten those, it can damage your motor. All right, so just snug them up really good. And then when you go to mount the motor, okay, uh, these wires, it's gonna be a little, a little tedious. They're, you're gonna have to push them down and um, they're gonna squish in between your winch and your Jeep, but that's okay. Okay, once you have your electronic control box mounted on the top and your wiring all connected, snugly, not over tightened, you are going to be ready to mount the winch. Um, there are four feet on the winch. At the bottom of each foot, you have these like rectangular openings. You got four square nuts and four bolts. You're gonna push each square like nut into the rectangular opening of each foot. Then you're going to set the winch down slowly on top and I'll show you underneath where to uh, screw the bolt up through. Okay, we are underneath and behind the bumper so I can show you the mounting points for the winch. At the bottom of each foot, there was that square nut. And all you have to do is fish the bolt up through the nut and start screw it, tightening it. It will catch the nut and because the nut is square, it won't turn, which will allow you to screw the, uh, the bolt up into the winch and snug that baby down against your bumper. So you have one here, one back there, and then as we look over here, we have that one there and that one there. So four bolts, four bolts snug this winch up to your bumper. Okay, once you have your winch mounted, um, the next step is to get power to your winch from your battery. So on the back side of your winch, when you were mounting it, make sure that those two long black and red positive and negative uh, wires came out the bottom. I fished them through 
the uh, red portion of my Jeep here underneath the frame, you can see them come out right here. I use a zip tie to hold them together and put them around the passenger side of the radiator. I had someone, you with their hand, push them through while, and you can, you can see them down there, uh, down there where they came through. And I, with my left hand, stuck my arm way down underneath the air intake, grabbed them, and pulled them up to the battery. From there, it was just a matter of connecting the red wire to the positive post and the black wire to the negative post. I also used a zip tie to hold the wires up on this side of the engine bay away from the heat of the engine block. And your final step is to pull the synthetic rope out through the front side of your bumper. Um, it'll stop right here, and you'll have this massive hook, a D-ring, a spacer where my thumb is right here, and a metal, a small metal dowel, and this red ribbon. Okay, to mount, to put these together, you put the D-ring like this with the spacer like this. You hold those together while you fish the metal dowel through. Now it won't go uh, smoothly through this metal spacer. You actually have to hold it together and with a hammer pound this metal dowel through. It will then uh, sit snugly but have a little bit of play in it so it's not super tight. But that is how you connect those together. And you can put your hook to the um, D-ring or some bumpers have something on the front that you can hook it to. Just make sure that you're not, that you don't tighten your winch up and uh, you want some slack in it. Don't have tension on the motor. For the longevity, that just doesn't seem very good. And that is how you install your 9,500 pound Bulldog winch. I hope this video has helped you out a lot and has saved you the money that you need to spend on your other uh, accessories for your Jeep.